if Jackal is going to be able to kind of adjust to Light's aggression. And honestly, I'm really excited to see two very aggressive characters go yeah, at it. Yeah, I think it's going to be a wonderful show, one for the books, and it's going to be a, a blockbuster, to say the least. Already coming right out of the gates, 55 with that vertical combo. Sour Spot has some dash attacks also, racking up some damage, but this is a big opportunity here. Jackal gets one grab, and all of a sudden, 50%. Yeah, th that's the thing, right? Like, it, it's so scary when either of these players find their opening because their combos are so practiced, especially right. on fast fallers, yeah. right? So it's not even like a, hey, I'm going to actually back up after. I'm going to just try and, you know, beat my buttons with your buttons. So, so far, so good from both players. And now we're having a little bit of an interaction on the left side of the stage here. Finds the back air, but look at Jackal finding the forward air. We can't find the finisher, wow. trying to kind of See if Light's going to land into him with the up tilt, but instead Light just going to reset here, trying to get the call out, and he will with that explosive up smash. Very smart stuff. Trying to time your regular get up around that sour spot dash attack we've seen hit so many times. Light somehow gets the time to input turn around up smash. Really great and immediate response from Jackalow to keep it even, and here's big damage yet again, 35. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's so enjoyable from both players because both players have this like Ooh. specialty to kind of pull combos out of nowhere right and that's the thing when you see light get 50 percent you'll see jackal get 50 percent right after here with grab though but parry and up tilt and nair coming out from light here trying to put a little Ooh. bit of aggression here Ooh. but still the follow-up with the dash attack so clean but unfortunately for light jackal is going to be able to respond landing nair from jackal unable to find the back air light looking for the dash attack but still jackal finding a dash attack of his own a look at that from jackal actually waiting to see what Light was going to do on the come down, trying to bait out an option. No punish yet, but that's definitely information in the memory bank. Yeah, definitely something you have to think about too. You can't go for too many of those super high recoveries that like Light has, especially if we end up in a game 10 situation. Your opponent could definitely make something happen. That Nair, really good air to air. And the forward tilt, not gonna do it, but should set up for a bit of a checkmate situation here. Oh no, gets right back on, illusion right to the ledge, and Jack was not ready for the punish, and they're both looking for something big here. It's so tense right now, good route. Yeah, honestly, from both players, it's so intense. You can tell Jackal getting a little bit more frustrated, right? Fox, in no way, shape, or form should be living above 180, especially from Wolf here. I want to see what Jackal's going to be able to do to hold on to a little bit of this rage, especially Lancing jumping blow. away from Light on the ledge. You could have been eating a back air oh. here, but speaking of eating a back air, it will be Light eating a back air and a laser and will not be able to make it back as Jackal, stoic as ever, going to be able to steal that game one. Can we get a production? Can we get that? Interaction on the left side of the stage before Jackal absolutely clowned my good friend. <laughs> it's true, they it's, are friends. It's, okay, well, all right, we don't have time to run through the whole thing, but basically, we saw a glancing blow on the back air that would have taken that stock from Jackal. Light missed it barely. I saw the sparks pop up, and then it turned into the Jackal show. That route was scouted out. Jackal looked like the, the, the first person ever run that trail and just looked so effortlessly, like, <laughs> explored it. Like, every single move was scouted out. Light got beat up, almost died of, like, 50-something after that back air. My goodness, you you can always see how like angry Light is yeah. by the, the opening combo, right? Earlier before in game number one, they get 50% here, they get 50% there, they kind of like trade their 50s, and now it's like Jackal's like, oh wait, hold on, you got 80, now I have to find 80. Try to go off their challenge with the Nair, unable to find anything, so here comes Light, oh. finds the up tilt, but the Wolf Flash actually doesn't lead it to anything, right? Light has the right idea with the follow-up, but can't find the explosive finisher. Jackal gonna be able to live at least for the moment here, but still Light finds the pickup with the dash attack fair here, and still Jackal with the landing neutral air, unable to get anything off of it. It is going blow for blow, AG. Oh my goodness, it's so tense right now. You can see these ideas that Light has. We're just not really seeing them come to fruition. The Trumps have not really found the mark to try and punish the Wolf Flash. It's gonna be the up tilt to catch that jump from Light. Jackal looks a little more confident, and Light looks like he's kind of swinging for the fences right now. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think at this point, I, I really am seeing Jackal try to, like, figure out Light's movement, right? Okay. Trying to figure out his game plan here. It will be Light, though, responding with a back air, and now we're basically back to even here. But look at the way that Jackal's actually kind of hanging out right below this platform to stop a lot of these Nair-in combos. 
Light, though, going to be able to find a back air. And now beautiful parry from Light. Going to lead him into a forward air. A couple of up tilts, but I love the way that Jackal going to shield it out. And the moment that he went back in for second hits is actually when Light was able to get a lot of this damage and take away a little bit of Jackal's lead. Still, yeah. though. It's, I mean... The, all we need, really, that momentum shift is pretty drastic. Not in terms of the actual results, but the momentum. That is such a risky edge guard too, because of the hitbox from the up special from Wolf. If you mess it up, you immediately get reversed. Not exactly what you want to do, but really good percent right now. You got to watch out for these follow-ups, though, from Jackal. I'm scared, but... Yeah, the movement is very scary between both players. You can always say that a player is very confident when they start walking in neutral, right? When they start just reading out your options, jump from ledge is going to get punished. That's a wolf tried and true. All right, back to neutral here. Going to try and shoot some lasers just for some extra damage. Basically just means Light says, like, all right, I don't know what I want to do right now. Can you decide for us? And it looks like we're going to start off with a little bit of edge guard here. Going for a really big swing with the forward smash, but I guess, you know, I appreciate the confidence and nothing else. Still go find the up air, and now it's so even in this game number two here. That, I mean, the... The trades aren't going in anyone's true favor here because it, it, it's still just stacking up damage on both sides. Jackal, though, going to be able to find the F-Tilt. The illusion onto stage will actually lead into a double up air. It's not going to be enough, though. Jackal actually going to take the defensive route and lands with an air dodge onto the platform. Trying to get something started, though. There's the Nair trying to line up, but look at the way that Jackal is kind of oh. bombing in and out. Good air dodge from Light here, but there it is. The back air not going to be enough just yet. Light trying to throw out a hitbox to throw Jackal off his game, but still has to find a way to get this stock. There's the forward throw from Light. The Nair from <laughs> the Nair from Jackal going to be almost just enough here. It's so, so close to this game number three oh or two. But Jackal going to be able to get the call out with the up tilt, my god. All because of a bit of a mix up there. It looks like Light went for a grab the wrong way. Yeah. And an unbelievable scramble at the end that you could tell they my were brain both was feeling oh it. I'm god. saying. <laughs> that forward tilt very close to hitting right there. Looked like Light tried to sneak in a back air. Goes just for like a pretty high route, which is usually smart. But you can see Jackal is scouting it out. The up air, pretty low cooldown, and then Light just got caught facing the wrong way, getting hit with the up throw, and an immediate little, just a little <laughs> shake it off. Going into this next game, we may just be seeing another set after this one, especially with the way Jack has been playing. Oh my god, but look at Light, man. Just a, a very calm 67 straight out of the gate, but here comes Jackal to give it right back to Light, yeah. calling out the jump with the up smash as well, and Jackal actually taking his opening combo a little bit further than Light, but Light going to be able to respond at least with a couple of callouts of his own here, and now we're back into this very scary neutral. There's the Nair coming out from Jackal as Light trying to get something started. Reverse Nair from the Wolf, but it's going to allow for Fox to come in with a dash attack. Oh. Unfortunately, though, for Light doesn't get the second hit of up air out, so that's going to actually allow for Jackal to find the back air of his own. From center stage, too, taking that stock is huge. It's a big opportunity for Jackal to get something going here on this opening combo, but yeah, a huge parry right there. Opens up a lot of punishes. And that rollback was so dangerous. You have to, you can't second guess yourself because Light is always there with the punish, even right there. Really good punish on the air dot to the down smash. Now two stocks apiece. This is just one combo from Light, which we may just see right now. A little forward air, up air right here, yep. <laughs> yeah, the El Clasico, right? right? It's so satisfying to watch too. But now here comes Jackal and Light. These trades, they don't benefit anybody in particular. Instead, they're both just swinging at each other. It's the best type of Smash Brothers. Still, though, finds the speed spot down air, but can't find the up smash to finish. Here comes Light, though, finding the dash attack in. And now it's all Jackal. You saw the moment he actually waited. He knew that Light would approach, but he couldn't find the mark on the back air here. Still trying to find the reverse Nair. Will be able to hit it. Can we find the stock? The F tilt not going to, or the, the tilt not going to be enough here. Oh. Still doesn't get the roll read exactly but is able to follow up really great follow-up too checked a lot of different options on the way to get that back air a lot of stuff was covered right there so it's kind of tough when you're jackal in that spot and it's also pretty interesting that dynamic like both these characters so good at comboing each other but when it comes down to the tech chases you really feel how much faster fox is and then when it comes down to the edge guards well you Kind of get to see Wolf shine a little bit too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's a good point. I actually really like that because once again, we're seeing just the pure aggression combo game 
coming out from light, how studied he is in his combos. But we're finding like a lot of the anti-combo <laughs> tech coming out from Jackal. Still though, Jackal trying to find a way to break this hold in the corner here. Finds a forward air into the instant land, Nair and grab and up air here. Still, both players playing so quickly. Light gonna be able to find the reversal. He could potentially be finding stock, but once again, Jackal with these Nairs are so well placed. Yeah, it's hard to punish that. It just stays out for so long. Really good hitbox on it. And then when you do land, you put your shield up in light, usually doing a neutral air out of shield or something like that. Doesn't actually find the hit, and they go back to neutral, but Jackal gets that center stage, which is so important. That angle is going to be tough. Going to make it back, but kind of stuck back at the ledge there. Yeah, I like the way that light actually rolled into the left side of the stage. Back air not going to be enough. Trying to call out a jump, both of them, but there's a landing forward air. Jackal stuck on the platform, at least for the moment here. Going for the grab here, but look at Light. The way that he's just jumping over Jackal. No tech, though. That's going to allow for Jackal to line up to potentially take this game number three in the first set of grands. And now Light has to figure out a response. The back air will connect. Jackal 3 owing Light in the first set of grands. Light kind of putting it down just a little bit, trying to calm his own nerves. Jackal, no pop off, nothing. Very focused. Team Monster looking Team great Monster. right now. Team Red Bull on the back foot already down two sets now. Light though, taking a little bit of a breather in between sets. Where'd he go? He's just in the front row. Oh, looking for out. water probably. Yeah. Trying to get some, some beverages. This was an amazing set from Jackal. Yeah. This was clean, really honestly. I also have to say, as like the play-by-play -play caster here, this is a hard set to cast. There's they, so many players. There are so many moves that are yeah. being thrown out all at the same time. These players are playing so fast and so calculated. But this is the Smash Ultimate that I love to see, yes, right? Really yeah. just kind of this like Look beat this em up. Too. I love this. Jump in, fade back to the platform. Just wait. And then it's just Pow. back air to burst back air, but Jackal had a little bit sooner. And uh, that one's a little a little stronger than the Fox one, too. So it's going to be both players in the loser side of things. Now the true finals, as it were, game one, Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, definitely not where you want to be if you're light, because look at this. Jackal already coming out of the gate, just finding the Nair and sending light off stage. Now, granted, it's not that opening combo that we've seen from Jackal, right, but right. honestly, it's already doing like the mind game damages. Now, light now reevaluating his game plan. We see a little bit more of a passive light, like, hey, wait, let me try and figure out what exactly you're getting me on here, but still Ooh. finding the landing uh, Nair into the dash attack here, finding another one, and now Jackal a little bit stuck in shield, and that's the green light for light to go right the green light is great i'm stealing that one for the future <laughs> the there it light, is yeah I, I love seeing that actually ironically jackal watched a game where light did that exact thing while i was sitting next to him and I was, he was like i hate that he could do that <laughs> <laughs> the jab checks miss tech not necessarily tech in place but then you still have enough time to get the up smash as well so many good options are covered in like what is functionally a second of game time all of these micro decisions are being made by these guys. You don't get to appreciate it because they're just moving so very fast. Yeah, uh, that's the thing, right? Like, <laughs> for me, right, as somebody who came into this, like, scene on Melee 10 right, years right. ago, right? And for you, too, yeah, right? Yeah, this yeah. itches our brain. It's <laughs> so <laughs> aggressive. It will be Jackal, though, evening it back up with an f tilt. But here comes Light, finding a lot of up airs. Is now Jackal actually going to be the one to retreat? Now we're seeing a little bit more of set one coming into play when it comes to our defensive habits from Jackal. And we're seeing a big change of pace from Light, as you mentioned, kind of playing a little more back, which is really good if you are Fox in this situation with the advantage. You can run away from Wolf when he does decide to approach, then you can turn it back on, which we're seeing right now, keeping that pressure up at the ledge. And then if Jackal does make it back on, I'd, if he makes it back on, Light can always go back to the laser strategy and hold down center or hold down the further part of the stage here. We're seeing the Nair not finding the mark, but looking for something big. It's going to be the drill into the tech chase. Good stuff. From light played that one by the book. Both players missing very crucial techs in that moment that both players have punished, right? right. And still now, uh, with a change of pace from light, it's a little less frantic and kind of like pressing buttons in your face, but it's more so like, all right, let me just punish you and then press the buttons. Still, the run up grab is going to be the option. Jackal going to air dodge all the way out, just 
try and reset neutral here. Like double grab though. Still trying to get the mark here. Whiffed grab and that's going to be green light for Jackal to start going. But still, just the tip of the nair is going to allow for light to not really eat too much damage here. And now we're back into neutral. Oh. But a beautiful call out onto the air dodge with that wolf down smash. I think light had the right idea there too to try and like air dodge before you know you get stuck on the ground. But still Fox fell right into that down smash. Going to... Try and make something happen here, but that definitely helped the momentum a little bit for Jackal. It's gonna be hard to get off of the ledge though. Even with all these jumps, Light still finds you center stage. You are with that up till oh geez, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> it's so close, right? I mean, like I love the way that Jackal's kind of jumping back trying to retreat here, but it's only a matter of time before Light going to be able to call out the down tilt right onto his shield with that up smash, going to be able to take this first game in true finals here. Definitely a lot of a slower game yeah. from Light and Jackal, to be quite honest. And I think we talked about this a little bit earlier, or at least I did. Uh, Jackal needs to find his tempo again. Yes. I, I think earlier versus Zamba, he was really setting the tempo. And he was like, eh, like maybe it's more touch and go. But now Light is like, hey, let me try and figure out where you're going here. True adaptation. We are going back to Pokemon Stadium 2 for this game number two. And that's what it was, too. Like I mentioned, Light was really good at putting Jack on the ledge and not necessarily making anything happen there, but responding to what Jackal did off of the ledge. Like we saw Light give up a little bit of that ledge control to then go and set up for the anti-air center stage because Jackal is kind of conditioned to not even like go on the platform because that wasn't safe, but to go try and land center stage with the neutral air instead. And now we see Light keeping that aggression up and using that speed that has been pretty much the X factor too whenever Light is in the advantage is because of the ability to kind of weave in and out a little bit more. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that was a brutal call out from Jackal onto the Ooh. side special in. But speaking of call outs, it will be Light finding a forward smash. The crowd's starting to come alive, tr trying to cheer for Light to take it all the way home here. But Jackal needs to find a way to get this stock. The Nair trade is going to work out in his favor. Ooh. The dash attack, though, is going to be punished by the Firefox back onto stage. And here comes Light once more, turning up that signature aggression. Great parry, though, into the up tilt. And we were talking about Light's up tilt earlier in Winner's Finals, and now Light honestly locked Ooh. in right now, landing Nair onto the wolf recovery, is still leaving Jackal in disadvantage. The F tilt not going to be enough here. Jackal needs to find a way back into this game. Yeah, that really kind of had to take the stock now if Light gets anything else off of this, especially oh if it's the jab lock. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he said, wake up. We gotta go play some games. Man. Trying to, I, I feel like at that moment, you know, Internet Explorer, where it like stutters yeah, for a yeah. second. I feel like that's what Jackal was going for. I also feel like he was trying to get Light to commit to something right. and just kept trying to get the mix up here. But you know, Light actually screaming in the camera, like, "Come on, like, do something here." <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do it on reaction if you're, you know, if you're Light. So definitely just waiting for it. Maybe Jackal thought he would kind of imply some timing to Light, but that's we don't have time for all that. Jackal answering back the big forward here, but there it is. With Wolf, you don't get to do it on reaction. You have to sort of read the tech option in situations like that. And Light picked tech in. Jack wasn't ready for it. Now you're kind of stuck back here in neutral, down a stock. Okay. Yeah, oh. finds the, I, it's just the combos off of everything, AG. This is what makes this player so enjoyable to watch. There's the Nair once more. Light trying to line up for a brutal call out. Yeah. And the, if the first forward smash doesn't connect, the second one will. And Light now representing Team Water here. Okay. Uh, the our, real winner. In, in our real bracket. Here. Team Red Bull until it came down to true finals. Then who does he come crawling back to? <laughs> Team Water. Team Water. And uh, real quick, the situation that ended up ending that game was very interesting because Light put Jackal in a spot where the re-grab was the forefront of everyone's mind. You can't get back to the ledge. What do you do in that situation? The Wolf Flash, usually the best option. And sometimes the angle can be deceptive, but that time it was pretty much a sealed deal and really good punish from Light and kind of baiting out that Wolf Flash too to try and you know, get a pretty explosive finish to that last one. Back on Town in City here. So I think what Jackal is going for here are the elongated combos that we miss, right? right. These wolf combos that really kind of take you coast to coast. But the problem is now Light is going to have an easier time getting a lot of these forward smash callouts right on the ledge here. And even just up tilt into the deck oh. smash, hitting the splits, going for it again. But Jackal unable to get those magnet hands. An explosive start for Light here. No platforms to go here. So I want to see if Jackal's going to turn up. We'll be able to find the Nair into the F tilt. It's not going to be enough, though. We'll find the mark on the laser. We'll see if we can keep Light here on the ledge or if Light's going to be able to recover, and it will. 
Yeah, it was a pretty nice little roll in around some of those options that Jackal had. Forward tilt going to set it all up again. Light is so good, though, at using the side special first, which opens up a pretty big flow chart closer to the stage. Good punish, though, from Jackal. A dash tag was a little too risky to go for, but yeah, like I said, Light doing that side special first and then using the jump and air dodge after definitely opens up a not necessarily larger range of options, but very different range of options. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the thing, right? Wolf kind of wants you to kind of be in that hit stun, so we're able to find a kind of combo down. Up smash into up air is certainly going to be a combo, but now here comes Light still setting on that signature aggression. Both players going to trade aerials here, but Light is getting Jackal in a lot of kind of like scary shield situations that he's punishing perfectly with grabs. And one of the things that I was praising Light earlier, right, getting all this kind of like chip damage off of just this one little decision decisive option is doing wonders for him now. Still though, Jackal going to be able to find the landing Nair as Light back throw here, trying to mix up Jackal's flow and will be able to. And what started what was such a slow set one in Grands, now Light looking so much better and honestly, we're even almost over with the tournament. Yeah, the confidence behind that forward smash definitely spoke volumes to the timing, knowing the near exact timing of the invincibility that Jackal had to work with. Really great stuff and definitely speaks to how comfortable Light is feeling in this situation. Using the platforms to get that jump back as well and some lasers attack on some damage. Looking pretty nice right now. And this is going to be like 900 damage from up tilts it's as so we've seen. Good. So close, still finds the landing there, and now Light just has to figure out a way to get Jackal into that up smash range. Still trying to hit that landing there, but Jackal just going to jump away to the platform reset here. No center platform, so we're able to get something started for Jackal, but Light looking so close. There's the run up dash attack here, but can we find that decisive aerial? No, well, uh, not on Light's side, yeah. but definitely on Jackal's. Last stock here, 109. All Jackal needs to do is find a string and pray, but it will just be the tech in neutral that actually sends Jackal off. 128 here, Light just looking for an aerial to end it all. Trying to get the landing forward air, but unable to find it. It will just be that back air. And thanks to Town and City, Light will be defending his title at CT GamerCon. One more dog medal for the <laughs> door. Another one for the books. Six out of seven for Light. One more Connecticut's Terrific GamerCon. I love it. Stay in here. The Holmes defended one more time. And love that. it was such a show. Pretty much every single step of the way. Unbelievable set, both grands and true finals for very different reasons. Mm -hmm. If you're a Jackal fan, maybe hopefully you, you went to bed early. If you're a Light fan, I'm glad you stuck with us. <laughs> it's Saturday night. Come on, <laughs> who's going to bed early on hey, Saturday there's a lot of, I know, I'm not. There's some tournaments tomorrow they got to watch too. Oh, right? that's true, that's true. Support all of our friends on commentary. I, I support your favorite players, but all of our friends have been casting this weekend. Like, the casters are busy true, this weekend. True, true. What a tournament though, AG. Honestly, uh, we had some really banger sets throughout yeah. the entire day. I know doubles was a pleasure to watch. Uh, I am so happy that I'm here once again. This was my third GamerCon. I've been here three times. You've been here for all like eight of them. Yeah, just about. <laughs> it's terrific. It's Connecticut's terrific GamerCon. And honestly, uh, there's no <laughs> tournament for singles tomorrow, but the con is still yeah. active. So if y'all want to swing by Mohegan Sun, first of all, we're at a casino. Uh, Oh, wait, yeah. we're going to be live here for Tekken, so all you Tekken players, there make you sure go. you guys come on out. And if you're in the venue, because, you know, you're here perusing all the wonderful wares, having a great time That's here true. at Wigginson Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut, you could also play maybe Squad Strike, I think, is tomorrow oh, for Smash true. Ultimate. Plenty of games. Like, the schedule this weekend is it great. Is gamer con. I watched John Numbers be my friend in Tetris. That's true. After my friend and I played Melee so Doubles. So fast. <laughs> like, there's so many things here to do. I played 64 dubs over there. Like, you got to come check it out. It's definitely worth it. The trip if you I was are watching in the area, WrestleMania. I'm not yeah, gonna I'm, lie. They I'm have probably, WrestleMania. What do you think I'm doing after this? <laughs> I'm going to the casino. But well, then no. watching WrestleMania. Shout, shout yourself out. You know hey, what to yeah. do. Yeah, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. I've been AG. You can follow me over at Actually Gaming. <laughs> With an E. With an E. Spelled correctly. <laughs> Spelled yeah, gaming. correctly. And Lyric, please tell them what if I want more Lyric in my life? What do I do? Uh, all you got is you, but you have my. Oh, well, yeah, I have your phone number. <laughs> yeah, you have my whole phone number, and I know where you live. Nope. Uh, if you guys like, uh, I guess, my commentary, or you like uh, Smash Ultimate or Pokemon TCG, I stream Monday through Friday, twitch.tv slash Lyric of Wisdom. I also am chronically online at it's Twitter. True. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what? what? 
can find me on all <laughs> platforms at Lyrical Wisdom. I'm trying to hit a thousand followers on TikTok so I can stream there oh. too. Um, so yeah, follow me on all platforms. Thank you to Devin, of course, on production and Dill and Helper and John, of course, for bringing us another great gamer con. Thank you to you for being like my favorite person on this planet. Okay. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and we will see you guys here tomorrow with Tekken and Squad Strike. <laughs>